prologue to Elsewhere, you actually say, you refer to this book as a memoir, and then you say, I don't know what else to call it. And, and you gave an NPR interview where you said, it seemed to me my job was to stay out of the way of this story. Do, do I sense a kind of reluctance or a wariness about the genre? What was that like for you? Well, I, yeah, I think I, I, I did have some, some, some wariness um, about the genre because, you know, everybody's writing memoirs these days. And, and um, I, my, my, feeling, um, my feeling is that every memoirist should, should ask himself or herself a basic question, and not every memoirist does, unfortunately. <laughs> the basic question that you, you ask yourself is, so what? <laughs> you know, so what? You're going to tell the story of, 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 your, of your life or, or some aspect of your life. Um, and, you, and you really should ask yourself that question, so what? Um, and for me, writing this memoir, I knew I had to write it. I didn't know if I was going to publish it. Um, there were certain things that I didn't understand about, about my own life. Um, and certainly there were things I didn't understand about my mother's life. She had a very difficult life, and, and, and she struggled so valiantly. Um, but there were things about, um, and there were things about our relationship that, that I didn't understand. But at the end of that, if that's all it was, if it was just about me, or even if it was a story about my mother and I was trying to, trying to um, understand something, it, it still wouldn't have been enough for me, it had for the for the memoir to be the kind of to be the kind of work that I wanted it to be. Um, it had to also be um, it had to be about Gloversville. It had to it had to be set within that social context. It had to be about Gloversville. It had to be about hard, dangerous manual labor. It had to be um, it had to be about America. It had to it it had to be about a particular time. I've always been. Uh, at least as interested in my parents' generation and my parents' lives in, in, in those years, um, the World War II generation, I was, I've always been as, at least as interested in, in, in their world uh, as I've been in, in, in my own. And so for this to work as, as a memoir, for, if, it, if I was going to have to be, if I was going to be happy with it, it had to answer that question, so what? And, and I think when I began, I wasn't sure that it was ever going to. I didn't, I, I didn't know... Um, and so I began, and, and the more and the more of this other stuff I was drawing in, uh, I, I realized I was coming, uh, I was getting farther and farther away from what most people think of as memoir. And by the time I got to write that sentence, I thought, I, I really don't know what this is anymore, but it's, it's something. Neil Genslinger quote, that you had parents and a childhood does not in itself qualify. <laughs> <laughs> nor, nor, frankly, nor frankly does celebrity, right? Yeah. yeah. 